here in Radio Control Revolution, West Palm Beach, Florida. And funny thing, I noticed that there are not a lot of comparison videos. Actually, there might not be any comparison videos of the Limitless and the new Infraction. So we're going to settle that right now. All right, so I took the bodies off just to really see what the size difference is with uh, the Limitless and the Infraction. Now, there is a massive, massive difference. The body sits a lot taller than uh, the Limitless, so you could actually stack the electronics a little bit higher. Let's say if you want to put an ESC here, that's most likely more doable. Being that the body post, you can raise up and down, and this has more of a buggy setup where you can't do much, well, except for the rear. Up next, we have the tires. They are both the same tread design. Obviously, one is a lot newer than the other, uh, but the rim is a lot different. This is a five count spoke. And this is a solid black dish. The whole front splitter design is shaped differently. Obviously, Limitless would be built more for speed. The infraction will be built more for all around, I would, I would assume, being that it's kind of curved, it's smooth, and you see Limitless being jagged and aggressive, which I like. I love both designs either way. Wheelbase is exactly the same also. If you thought Limitless was longer, well, I thought that from the beginning, but it turns out they're legitimately the exact same size, width and length. Now for the rear, you guys can see obviously there's a wing mount assembly with the three screws down there, two screws over here, attaching all the way up to the wing with the center support brace for it. Now obviously we do not have that with the infraction. Obviously you can do that, you could all, of course add your own mount to it and all that. You could certainly customize it and actually put a wing on it most likely. I'm not sure if you can with the body on, but you might have to cut part of the rear off, but it would look really, really nice. All right, so one last thing I did notice. If you notice that's open, that's closed. You can probably remove them with the three screws that are under here, if you guys can see. But it looks like when the air passes through the body under here, you can't really see my finger, but air probably goes from the body out here. I think air is blocked here, so you can actually tune the rear uh, the rear diffuser for what you want to do. I think you're going to have a little bit more downforce, being that if this is blocked off, it's going to push off the end and push the rear end down. Unlike here, it's going to fly straight through. Other than that, we already know, majority of us, what the whole differences are between these two. A lot of us actually have seen the infraction running a few guys have it now which is awesome but i wanted to give you guys just a legitimate side-by-side -side comparison what i do like about the infraction though is that it has the same amount of potential that the limitless has only difference is it's a truck so if that isn't surprising if that's not crazy i love it i love the design it actually kind of looks like a unicorn